He's the undisputed king of Crocs. I have exactly 2,143 pairs. I had to think about it because I bought two more pairs this morning. Holy crocamole! He's got citrus Crocs and Christmas Crocs, Balenciaga Crocs and boot Crocs, fishing Crocs and furry Crocs. Each piece is like a piece of art and it's like a, a blank canvas that every day I get to paint my way. And the Croc King's real name is Doogie Sand Tiger. That's the name. That's the name. My real, real birth certificate, social, driver's license. I wish I was a rock star, but I'm not. I would, probably would have had a better career. Maybe that. not a rock star, but a croc star, for sure. Yeah, croc star. There you go. See? As silly as crocs might seem, they have a special place in Doogie's heart and soul. I grew up in foster care, in and out. Uh, chaotic living situation environment. And one of the things that I lost along the way and no one ever taught me was how to tie my shoes. And it just, it was one of those things where I never reached out for help. I was scared, I was embarrassed. And then in high school, he slipped on his first pair of Crocs. And now 2000 plus pairs later, he's even worn them to his own brother's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Doogie is a full blown Croc hunter. There's a couple pairs I paid well over $2,000 for. Another pair I paid close to 3000 But the Croc King says you can't put a price on that Croc way of life. But it helps me overcome certain things and it helps me open up. And that's why I always tell people, just try it. I have been anti-Croc for my entire life, but I think this conversation might change my perception. I feel validated in my life's work and mission to convert <laughs> everybody. For me to just wear these Crocs, it brightens people's day and see them smile and we get, we, we hold a conversation about it. People that don't even like Crocs will see a pair and be like, okay, those are cool or those are fire or I like those and then it gets it going. So where does somebody keep 2,000 plus pairs of Crocs? Well, Doogie tells me his basement is bursting. He's looking to expand to a warehouse and eventually open a Crocsium, which is a museum of Crocs, Andrew and Rhiannon. And speaking of, you have some serious Croc competition, Andrew. Well, Will, they don't call me Dwayne the Croc Johnson for nothing. <laughs> I'm wearing mine right now. There you go. But how many pairs have do you have? Competition now. Only three. Okay, you need another Not pair. Not 3,000. Yeah. 2,997 to go. More news next. Stay with us. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.